Hello and welcome to Acoustic Review. My name is Ben Morgan Brown and today I'm looking at the A6 from Admira Guitars. The A6 is part of Admira's handcrafted series, built in Spain using traditional techniques and features a solid cedar top, laminated rows of back and sides, a mahogany neck attached to the body in the traditional Spanish heel style and a rosewood fingerboard and bridge. It's a full size classical guitar and has an RRP of £415. Everything about this guitar, from the wood selection to the construction method, says traditional, so I'm expecting the sound to match the look and construction. So let's have a listen to the guitar now, and then come back afterwards for my thoughts. My first impression of the guitar is that well, it looks exactly as you would expect a classical guitar to look. From the traditional bridge and rosette decorations to the machine heads, it's a very respectable looking instrument. The cedar top is a nice rich colour, although it's obviously not the highest grade of wood, the grain is reasonably close and relatively tight. The rosewood back and sides are very dark and they contrast nicely with the lighter mahogany neck and altogether the whole package is of a very elegant looking guitar. Although there are a couple of rough patches on the end of the fingerboard extension, overall the build quality is very high and I think at first glance you probably could mistake this guitar for a more expensive one. There are some nice touches such as the heel cap matching the rosewood back and sides and the machine heads as well as looking very fetching are very easy to use and they turned very smoothly as well. Moving on to the tone of the guitar, I thought the trebles were very sweet and the bass was very rich and provided a nice bedrock for the melody notes to sit on top of. I did feel that the G string was a little bit plonky and I think that could maybe be corrected with some different strings and using a composite G string. That's quite a common thing on lower end classical guitars for that G string not to be quite as clear as the other treble strings. As a mainly steel string player I was impressed by the variety of tone achievable just from moving my hand around and changing the attack. I think the tone is much more round and plummy around the neck and there's more attack and brightness as you play near the bridge and it was very nice to be able to play around with these kind of shifts in tone and get different feels for different pieces. Something I do think is worth mentioning is that the guitar did seem to squeak quite a lot against my shirt. 
Now, I don't know if that's an unfortunate combination of shirt and guitar finish, and perhaps as the guitar is played in and the finish polishes up a little bit, that extra noise will go away. But if you do have a favourite gigging shirt, maybe it's worth wearing that on the day you go to try the guitar, just to make sure that you don't have the same problem. I found the guitar relatively easy to play. As a full-size classical, the nut width is quite wide and the neck can feel a little full at times, but if you're used to classical guitars, I don't think you'd have any problem with this guitar at all. Uh, if you're like me and you're more used to playing a steel string guitar, it might take a little while to adapt, but I quickly found that within 10-15 minutes or so of playing, I was playing this guitar as if I'd been playing it for a much longer time. The action is high enough to get a full tone, but still low enough to play with ease, and I quickly found that once that adjustment period was over, the guitar was very easy to play. At this price point, I think the guitar is perfect for serious beginners, or those younger players who are moving on from their first instrument. And I also think at this price it's very attractive to us steel string players who might be looking to grab a little bit of the nylon string sound without outlaying too much money and still getting a very traditional sound and feel. I think it's astonishing that you can get a guitar made in Spain with a solid cedar top and featuring a traditional heel for £415. And I think when you add all of that up this makes this guitar excellent value for money. It certainly looks, feels and sounds to my ear like a more expensive instrument and that's a testament to the quality of this guitar. I hope you've enjoyed this video from Acoustic Review. Please subscribe and follow us on social media to be kept up to date with news and I look forward to seeing you again soon.